I have a hard time finishing projects. Starting projects is super easy. Ideas come to me at random and then I spend, you know, a day or two working on, I don't know, a city builder about building a university in the middle of like a city, like a college campus. And then I stop worrying on it. And it's because I get so wrapped up with wanting to build the best thing, or the biggest thing, or the most feature complete thing. And scope kind of creeps and my perfectionism takes hold of me. I realize I can't make the project I see in my head. And then I move on to something else. I have a hard time finishing projects. And a lot of it's because I want it to be the best it can be, but sometimes that's just not possible. A perfect game would take an eternity to produce. Hi, I have a, a degree in game development. Um, it doesn't look like it with the channel and my resume because I make projects for classes because those have deadlines, but everything else doesn't. So I haven't really made anything. Also, I didn't have time for several years. But that's beside the point. Um, so January 13th, I started work on a project called Up in Smoke. It's a game about a fireman who puts out the fires and he doesn't guarantee that they'll be put out. But he can, sure can guarantee that <laughs> your house will stand for a couple seconds by the time he shows up. Um, you will also have to provide materials because he doesn't have a truck. He's just got some firefighting like gear in the hat and an extinguisher. Uh, I made a little high score based three level game. It's top down, it's very short. Um, I would reckon that between 10 and 30 minutes you could see everything the game's got to offer, more or less. But I made it and I finished it and I, I learned a lot about myself, my own ability to scope a project. Sometimes you get so wrapped up wanting to make the best thing that you don't ever finish a thing, nor can you really build the thing you see. So I built Up and Smoke kind of based on my own ability to work a game engine, in this case, a Game Maker. And if you want to follow along, apparently Game Maker 2 is like a hundred bucks for a permanent license. You can't build to any of the consoles, but you can build, that would be to Mac, Linux, Windows, HTML5, um, so, you know, a decent amount of stuff there. Um, they used to do Game Maker in a Humble Bundle for 20 bucks, and that was the best 20 bucks I ever spent. Um, but I made a game. It took me two weeks. I published it on Itch, and you can play it today at e3khatena.itch.io. Um, the game is free. You don't need to pay anything to download, although I really hope that you do. If not straight through itch, you can also go through streamlabs.com slash e3khatena. That is typically where donations for streams would go, but they could just be whenever. Doesn't need to be when there's a stream happening, apparently. Um, and then also um, Patreon. If you want to support me monthly, you can do so via Patreon. Um, but I made a game, and as of today, it's out. You can play it. I'm making more games this year. My goal is to make 20. That is a lofty goal. I don't think I'll be able to reach it, but I'm going to shoot for it. And they're all going to be pretty short. Um, some of them will be shorter than others. Um, some of them will be in things that aren't Game Maker. I'd like to do at least two Twine games this year, um, but we'll see. I'd also like to do at least one Unreal project. I think that might be closer to the end of the year. But the goal is to kind of work on my own ability as a game dev, but also just my own ability to scope a project. Because I have a nasty habit of biting off more than I can chew. And when it comes to game stuff, I just, I just can't do it. So I walk away. But hopefully I can kind of get a better feel for what I can and cannot do. Um, I can finally start burying this idea that I need to make the perfect thing. Um, and you'll get to see some cool stuff. You'll get to see some interesting stuff. Some weird stuff. Uh, I can't guarantee that everything will be good, but I think Up and Smoke is at the least, at the very least, fun. Um, 
and they'll all be on itch. They will all be um, name your price with no minimum. Although I would really hope that you send me a couple bucks because, you know, this is kind of, this is what I went to school to do. I'm not saying that, you know, my career options, I'd like to be open, you know. If you want me for film editing, hit me up in my email. If you want me as a producer and say you're a, a gaming publication who recently just lost a, um, a twink who had a mustache for a while, you can also hit me up. Uh, that would be neat. Um, or other. Just to, if you've seen any of the things I've done and you like them, hi. Um, but for the rest of the year, otherwise I will be making some games and I'm not not doing videos. There are still videos coming out pretty much every Thursday uh, and maybe a couple on Mondays too. But I'm also, but I'm also doing some game things and I hope you're willing to come on that journey with me. Oh, and if you play up in smoke, Come, come hang out at the Discord and tell me what you think. Or leave a YouTube comment to this. I think that'll be it, though. So, I hope you're excited. I am. I'm really excited to see where this takes me and see what types of things I create. I have ideas. I don't have all 20. Um, because I still... I like the openness of I have an idea and I just make the idea. So we'll see where things go. But until then, hi. Let's make some games.